In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then, from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The Witch of Isolith and her Daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his Faithful Knights. And the Furtive Pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Gwyn's mighty lords grew the heart their stone skins. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. This is your fate.
Alright, hello everyone, and welcome to a playthrough that I've been wanting to do for quite some time now. Dark Souls. Now, I'm gonna run down through this really quick on what I'm doing. Um, basically, I need about 4,500 souls. On screen is my stats now, while there's still nothing really happening. Uh, I will not be using the first few bonfires, so there is that. Not going to say I'm going to not use any bonfires at all throughout the game. That'd be insane. But I just don't need the first few. Now as for this guy coming up here, don't fight him. You won't win. Just don't do it. Up here is an archer. I'm not going to grab the shield. I will get a shield later on. Two shields that, well, I deem important. Now, because I need about 4,500 souls, backstabs and parries are very important. They grant just about 12 per kill on these guys. 12 bonus. And, well, 12 goes a long way. Might actually surprise you how much it goes a long way for. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon. Then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I are both undead. Hear me out. Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There's an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen, and thine exodus from the undead asylum maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know, and I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask, an undead favorite. Oh, and this. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. Also, if you feel like it, you don't have to listen to his sob story. You can kill him, but it just kind of makes you a bad person. Silently judging. Also, just from recommendation, if you're first playing this game, like it's your first time, please, please, please do not try what I'm doing right now. I've only... well, I'm only really doing this because, one, I don't want the shield that they give me in the start, and two, I've played through the game at least once, so I at least know what I'm doing. At least. I don't know everything though, so bear with me. Alright, with that, let us move on to the first boss. Two hand your weapon for extra damage. It won't matter if you use a shield here. Well, this what I'm saying is two hand will do more damage and you don't need a shield in the beginning. and coming up come on there we go 2,000 souls let's get this run underway only in the ancient legends it is stated that 
one day an undead shall be chosen. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage. To the land of the ancient lords. Lordra. Here we are, Lordran. Rest up at this bonfire for five extra Estus flasks, and let's go over and talk to this guy. Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess, fate of the undead, right? Well, not the fault, but there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum, but too late now. Uh, well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are, actually, two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below, in the ruins at the base of Light Town. Ring them both, and something happens. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on. But I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land, the undead? <laughs> now, in regards to where he's saying, we're going to be going up to the church first. But first we need that 4,500 souls. 3,000 to buy the repair box, and 1,500 to level up. At least twice is what we need. No, backstab please. Again, first time playing, don't try what I'm doing. I'm just mentally crazy. Well, it would have been worse. I originally planned for a shield list run, and I figured that'd be a very bad idea. Let's see what. is all that's left, so let's get rid of him. And now we can go claim our items. First up on the list is right down here. Some extra souls. Next is for the brave, the bold and the daring, a ring of sacrifice. Then finally we just have some more souls. There's one, and next we gotta go kill a rat for the other. Now we can move on.
let's lure you out. Just as a note, most of the firebomb guys you see will throw nothing but firebombs. You can try and parry them if you want. Some of them actually do attack. at a time. the bonfire just yet. I will save that for later use. seem to have your <laughs> Thank you kindly. <laughs> I feel so bad for this. I'm so sorry. You need your weapon though. You. I'll teach you, you lousy rat. Yulia! Yulia! Why me? Little I'm so sorry. Now with that out of the way, we can go rest up at the bonfire. But first... Oops. That is why this is a precise run. In the beginning, anyway. Now, the reason why I wanted his weapon is because, well, you can't really get any better early game unless you're a pro and know exactly how to kill the Black Halberd Knight. Or, Halberd Black Knight, sorry. Now, parries and all that are fairly useless again. Let's see what you have. Actually, let's go in here for a change.
And also, new players, be wary. There are mimics in the game. Just look at the chain. That's all you need to know. Don't be crazy like I am. Just don't do it. And don't worry, it's about to get much crazier. Just saying. Now, if you do pick up the Master Key early game, be careful about going down here. The guy waiting at the bottom of the stairs, also known as Havel, will one-shot you. I'm fairly certain it's any armor. Oh, well, this could be a bad run. This could very well be a bad run. Oh, please go. Whew. Okay. Again, if you're just beginning the game, do not try what I'm trying. You'll only succeed in getting yourself killed. Alright. Now, I'm not specifically trying for the halberd. We're going for the shield. See if I can wrap this up in the next three minutes. We still need to kill him to get to the shield safely and leave safely. But there's no guarantee for the halberd. Oh, fantastic. And no halberd. Oh well. Got what we came for. Now, the reason why I came after this shield is because if you see in my status, it gives me a stamina boost. Basically fills my stamina faster. So, this can come in handy. some armor and a weapon and let's just skip past about 10% of the game Goodbye. And one more enemy that we'll have to come across. Try not to get too close. He's feisty. And that is that wrapped up. Get a few. 
few Titanite shards. Not enough to use all of them though. Go get you. No. And with that, that'll be the end of part one. Next, we'll go see about killing them gargoyles. See you then.